All right, so this lecture is on ray diagrams for lenses. So for starters, there's two types of lenses. There's what we call converging lenses, and there are diverging lenses. A converging lens, the reason we call it converging, I put this image right here. Uh, notice we have parallel light rays. So that, like there's a light box that's shooting out parallel light rays. When these parallel light rays hit the lens, Notice that the light rays, what? Converge, right? They come together. So we call it a converging lens. Okay, for a diverging lens, um, diverging lens, parallel light rays, when they strike the lens, what do they do? They diverge, okay? A characteristic of converging lenses. You probably recognize this from the practice APs that we've done. You probably recognize this. What do these guys have in common? They're thick in the middle, skinny at the ends. That's true for converging lenses. A converging lens will always be thick in the middle, skinny at the ends. Diverging lenses are skinny in the middle, thick at the ends. Okay? I've, seen that, I've seen that on multiple choice exams a lot. Just that, If you know that, you'll get the question right. Okay, converging lenses. Okay, so now we're talking about ray diagrams for converging and diverging. So the ray diagrams for lenses, very similar to the ray diagrams for mirrors, but different. The key difference for mirrors and lenses is that lenses have two focal points. Lenses have a focal point on each side. And the reason for that is, look, you could send light in from the left and you could send light in from the right, you know, and you'll, you'll have a focal point on each side. And regardless of the shape of the lens, uh, the focal length is always the same, meaning like the distance from here to there, that would be the focal length of the lens, is the same as that. The focal length on each side is always the same, even if you have a more funky shaped uh, converging lens or diverging lens. The focal length on each side is always equal. And measure your focal lengths when you're setting up these ray diagrams. Measure the focal lengths from this line down the middle, right? Right there. Okay, so I want to just point out the important parts to these ray diagrams. So ray number one, the first ray is drawn parallel to the principal axis. After being refracted by the lens, this ray passes through or appears to come from focal point. So the thing I want you to put in your brain, in your brain, put ray number one is parallel focal point. That's what you got to remember. Same as yesterday, right? What was, what was the first ray for a mirror? Parallel focal point. Same exact thing. Now what's going to make this trickier, guys? What will make this trickier than mirrors? How many focal points do we have? Two. So the thing I got to show you, how do you know which focal point? How do you know? We'll talk about that in a second. Now, let's skip to ray number three. So we talked about ray number one. Let's go to ray number three on the list. Ray number three goes focal point and then parallel. So similar to mirrors, you know. With mirrors, we were like, okay, parallel, focal point, focal point, parallel. That covers two of the rays, okay? So the same thing for, same thing going on. The only tricky part with lenses is which focal point do you use? And there's an easy answer to that. Easy. Okay. The second ray, ray number two on the list, goes directly through the center of the lens. Right? Now that's a difference with mirrors. What did the third ray do for mirrors? It went through the center of curvature. It's like if you're looking at a, here we're going to draw here. Like here's a concave mirror right there. Like there's the focal point. There's the center of curvature. The third ray for a mirror goes through this center of curvature. But the third ray for a lens goes directly through the center of the lens. Okay? Now, let's get to the, the big question. The big question is, how do you know which focal point to use? The answer is simply this. It depends on the lens. If you're dealing with a converging lens, the ray must converge. That's going to tell you what focal point to use. If you're working with a diverging lens, 
the ray must diverge. That's going to tell you which focal point to use. Okay, so look at here. Ray number one. Let's just look at what happens here. Ray number one goes parallel and then go all the way to this line down the middle. Okay, so parallel focal point. Now, what if I would have used the left focal point? The left focal point would have been like this. You would have lined it up. You would have lined it up with the focal point like that, although you don't want this part to be solid. You want this. You would want to erase that. That's not supposed to be solid. So that would be what? Is that converging or diverging? That's diverging. So you're not going to use the left focal point here. You use the right focal point because it's, it's got to be it's a converging lens. Okay, let's look at this ray, ray number three. Ray number three, now you're never going to use the same focal point twice, ever, ever, ever. Once you've used a focal point, that focal point's done. So this ray goes focal point parallel. Now, guys, is that an example of converging? Did this ray converge? It sure did, dude. Anything that gets closer to the principal axis, anything that gets closer to this principal axis would be an example of converging, right? So this ray right here, you know, it pulled up and went closer to the principal axis. That's converging. And then ray number two, bam, straight through the center of the lens. Okay, now let's look at the other one, a diverging lens. Okay, so here's a diverging lens. So now look, ray number one. What does ray number one do? Ray number one goes parallel focal point. So here we go. Parallel, line it up with the focal point. See how that lines up with the focal point? Did this ray right here converge or diverge? It diverges. So dude, the thing to remember, which focal point to use depends upon is it a converging lens or is it a diverging lens? Okay, so bang, that's ray number one. Ray number three, okay, check out what ray number three is doing. Okay, ray number three is going like this. If you check it out, so from the tip of the object, bang. Where is ray number three headed? See where, see what I did right there? It's lined up with what? The focal point, but is he going to make it there? No, because what does he do? He hits the lens and then goes how? Parallel. So what we have for ray number three here is we have focal point. See how he's lined up with the focal point? Focal point hits the lens parallel. Bang. Hey, man, is that an example? Is this an example of diverging? It is, because he pulled away from the principal axis. Anything that pulls away from the principal axis right here is diverging. And then ray number two is easy. Ray number two goes straight through the center of the lens, okay? Now, there's three possible ray diagrams. Let's go through all three, and then we're done. Okay, so the first situation, converging lens with the object outside the focal point. Oop, let me erase this. So, I'll give you like, you should give you like two minutes. Try this on your own. Okay, so first ray, Shh, here's how you do it. It's a converging lens. So first ray, you draw it parallel to the principal axis. Put arrows on your diagram. Parallel. Now, do we want to go like this? Do we want to go use the left focal point? If we did that, so line it up. And you don't want to show this part. This part you shouldn't show if, you do, if that's the case. Dude, is that what we want? No, because that would be what? That's diverging, so we don't want to use the left focal point. We want to use the right focal point. So we go parallel focal point, put arrows on your diagram. Okay, so we've used the right focal point, so that one's done. We're not going to use that again. Parallel focal point. Okay, second ray goes focal point. Put arrows on it. Focal point, and then... Parallel. Okay, we just found where the image will be. The image is going to be where those rays intersect. Now, like we talked about yesterday, is this going to be a real image? That, that arrow represents the image right here. Is that going to be real or virtual? Real. It's real. How do we know it's real? Because the light rays actually intersect. 
If the light rays actually intersect, then it's a real image, and you could put that on a screen. If you put a piece of paper there, you would capture it on, a screen, on, a, on the paper. Okay, the third ray is your check. Let's see if I did this well. So draw it straight through the center of the lens. Oh, yeah. Doesn't get better than that. Whoever thought of this is genius. All right, so next situation. Any questions on this one before I go to the next one? Okay, situation number two. Converging lens, object inside the focal point. So all we did, the object is now closer to the lens, and um, same rays, man, same rays. So I'll give you like two, two or three minutes. Okay, ray number one. Parallel. Wait, that's not really parallel. Hold on. From the tip of the object, we go boom. Parallel. Put arrows on your rays. Okay. <laughs> Which focal point? Left or right? The right, because it's a converging lens. Right? The ray has to converge. All right, we've used the focal point on the right. That focal point's done. Now we use focal point on the left. So the next ray, the next ray, we're going to go focal point parallel. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up the tip of the object with the focal point. So we got this ray. It's shooting through. It's going like this. It's going through the focal point. We're lining up tip of the object with the focal point. All right, put, put arrows on here. And you don't really need... You don't really have to show that part. Okay, so it went through the focal, focal point, hits the lens, and goes parallel. Is that an example of converging? Yeah, it came closer to the principal axis, so it's converging. Now, will this ray and this ray ever cross each other? Never. So it's not going to be a real image. It's going to be a virtual image. So here's how you think about it. If your eyeball were right here, where would your eyeball think that this ray came from? Dot, 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 straight back. If your eyeball were down here, where would your eyeball think that this ray came from? Dot, 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 dot. So the image is going to be like back here somewhere. It's not perfect. Ray diagrams are, it's an approximation, but it's pretty good. So look, what do we find out about this image? Is the image in front or back of the lens? It's in front. Is it bigger or smaller than the object? Bigger. Uh, it's upright, and it's virtual. Okay. Now let's do the third ray. The third ray is the check. Okay. So the third ray goes like this, straight through the center of the lens like that. Put a ray there. If your eyeball were right here, where would it think that that ray came from? Do do. Oh, yeah. I cheated. See that? I cheated. It's not perfect, but ray diagrams are rarely perfect. So, I mean, it should be good. I did it better last period. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now. Okay, final screen. Now here, guys, it does not matter. You're going to get the same ray diagram if you take this object and stick it inside the focal point. It's going to be the same ray diagram. So this is the final situation. Uh, diverging lenses only have one ray diagram because it doesn't matter which side of the focal point the object is on. You'll see what I mean when you draw it. Okay, so I'll give you a couple minutes. So here we go. So diverging lens. Look at parallel. That's not really parallel. Let's try it again. Parallel to the line down the middle. Okay. Do we want to go focal point like that? No. No, because what, what type of lens is this? Diverging. So what we do is we line this up with the focal point like this. Line it up with the focal point. And we don't want this. Don't, don't, that's not a solid line. Okay, so it goes like this, parallel, and then this guy comes off the lens so that he lines up with the focal point. So we have parallel, focal point, 
Now the next one goes focal point parallel. So look, what we're going to do is from tip of the object, line this up with the focal point, right? Like that, but then we really only we want it like that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So he lines up with the focal point, but we don't want to show that part, right? The reason we don't want to show that part is he hits the lens and then goes how? Parallel. So we have the first one is parallel focal point, diverging. Second one, line it up with the focal point. Line this up. Here, I'll show you. Look what I did. Look at it, look at it, look at it. I lined that up with the focal point. See that? Focal point, but then he hits the lens and goes parallel. Okay, are these two rays ever going to cross? No, so it's going to be virtual. So here's how you figure it out. If your eyeball were right here, where would your eyeball think that this ray came from? You go like this. You go do, 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 do a little dot, dot, dot. Okay, if your eyeball were up here, where would it think that this ray came from? You go dot, 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 like that. We just found the image right there. So, what did we just find out about this image? Bigger or smaller than the object? Smaller. smaller. Front or back of the lens? Front. Uh, upright or inverted? Upright. Real or virtual? Virtual. Ray diagrams are awesome. Okay, then the last ray is your check. Look at this. Str money. Look at that. Straight through like that. Now, if your eyeball were right here, where would your eyeball think that that ray came from? You just do the trace back right on top of the ray, right on top of it. Do 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 straight back. 